We are used to seeing equations that represent functions that look like this, y equals 2x plus 4. But how can we tell if it's a function if it's written in a different format, like this? In this lesson, you will learn to identify functions even when they're written in a different form by using the definition of a function. Let's review. A function is a relationship between numbers where there's only one output for every input, and you can express the same function in three different ways, an equation, a table, and a graph. And you'll see that with each format, each input only has one output, and this is the only requirement for a function. A common misconception is thinking that a function isn't a function if it doesn't start with y equals. But a function is still a function even if it's not written this way, because a function is defined by the relationship between the numbers and not the format it's written in. For example, if you're given y minus 2 equals x squared, you might look at this and think, this isn't a function because it doesn't start with y equals. But if you were to rearrange the equation into what we're familiar with, you'll see that I can create a function in the format we're used to seeing. Also, if I input domain values into y minus 2 equals x squared, you'll see that for each domain value, I only get one range value, which makes it a function. Therefore, we can see that y minus 2 equals x squared is a function, because each input only has one output value, despite it being written in an unfamiliar form. Again, because a function is defined by the relationship between the numbers and not the format it's written in. Okay, now let's look at an example where we try to determine whether or not a relation is a function when it's written in a form we aren't familiar with. Let's look at 2y equals 4x plus 8. Is this a function? Well, in order to tell if it's a function, we want to determine whether each input only has one output, so we create a table of values. If you input 0, 4 times 0 is 0, and 0 plus 8 is 8. Well, now we have 2y equals 8, so we divide both sides by 2. Therefore, y, our range value, equals 4. Well, we continue to put domain values in for x and solve for y. And after doing this, we can see that each input only has one output. However, since there are an infinite amount of domain values that we can choose from, let's draw a graph of this function and do the vertical line test to be sure. If I make my table of values into coordinates and plot them on my coordinate plane and then connect them, I have created a graph for this relation. And if I draw vertical lines through the graph, I can see that each line crosses the graph only at one point. Therefore, this is a function. Now let me show you that if you rearrange the function to start with y equals, you will get the same table of values and graph as we did before. If we have 2y equals 4x plus 8, we solve for y by dividing both sides by 2. And when we do this, we get y equals 2x plus 4. And if I put in the same domain values as I did before, I end up with the exact same range values. Also, if I turn these into coordinates and I plot them on my graph, I get the exact same graph as I did before. Again, it's important to recognize that it's the relationship between the numbers that defines the function, not the way it's written. In this lesson, you have learned to identify functions even when they're written in different forms by using the definition of a function.